Afghans on Wednesday faced an increasing desperate race to escape life under Taliban after US President Joe Biden confirmed that the US led evacuation will end next week. More than 70,000 people have already been evacuated, but large crowds still remain outside Kabul airport hoping to flee the threat of repression in Taliban ruled Afghanistan. Biden said on Tuesday that the United States would stick to the 31st August deadline to completely withdraw its troops despite warning from European allies that not all vulnerable Afghans would be able to leave by then. Many Afghans feared a repeat of brutal five-year Taliban regime that was toppled in 2001 and warned retribution for working with foreign military, Western missions and previous US-backed government. Taliban has been showing off its own special force on social media. Terrorists in new uniform equipped with looted American equipment who contrast sharply with the image of usual Afghan insurgent. Pictures and videos of the fighters of the so-called Badari 313 unit have been posted online for propaganda purpose to underline how the Taliban is now better equipped and trained men at their disposal than the past experts say. Rather than the battered Russian design Klashnikov rifles slung over their shoulders, the men of the Badari 313 now hold new US-made rifles such as M4, sometimes with night vision goggles and advanced gun sights. Meanwhile, a Western weapon experts who wrote anonymously on Twitter said that the unit would be of no match for Western Special Forces or those of India or of Pakistan. Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat on Wednesday asserted that any possible terrorist activity flowing out of Taliban-controlled Afghanistan and finding its way into India will be firmly dealt with and suggested that coordinations should boost cooperation in global war on terrorism. General Rawat said that India was anticipating a Taliban takeover of Afghanistan, but the timelines of the latest development have surprised it, noting that the outfit has not changed over the past 20 years. The Chief of Defence Staff said that India is committed to ensure a terror-free environment in the region. Union Minister Narayan Rane, who was arrested yesterday in Maharashtra over his slap of the Thakre comment and granted bail within eight hours, has been asked to appear before the police in Nasik on September 2nd. One of the four FIRs against Narayan Rane has been filed in Nasik. The notice issued late last night asked the minister to appear at 12 noon on Thursday. Rane got bailed at around 9.45 hours after his dramatic arrest while he was having his lunch. He argued at the court in Raigarh that he was arrested on political motivated charges without proper notice. He also cited his health and the fact that he is a cabinet minister. The Raigad court judge said, considering the reason of the arrest and other reasons, I found that the arrest was justified. But Magistrate S.S. Patil said that there was no need for custody. The Congress-backed Punjab Chief Minister Amrinder Singh a day after a section of party leaders renewed their rebellion against his leadership. Senior party leader Harish Rawat said that Singh will lead the party in the coming state elections. The demand for Singh's removal from the post of Punjab Chief Minister resurfaced after he targeted the advisers of State Congress Chief Navjot Singh Sidhu over their comments on Pakistan and Kashmir. Yesterday, 23 party MLAs, including four ministers, held a meeting and and said that they will write to the central leadership on the issue. The Congress has backed Singh through the rebellion in the party ranks that lasted weeks, but their compromise formula also included elevation of Sindhu, the biggest critic of the chief minister. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.